Okay, I just got done super gluing the broken pieces back together. We'll set that off to the side where it won't be disturbed. Let's put our super glue away. Let that super glue dry. Now, let's remove the capacitors from the power board. Let's get some pictures here. My iron heat up. I turned it off so it could cool off. <laughs> yeah. Come on, iron. Back to work. Adding solder to help the old solder flow. Now what I do to remove capacitors, let me get my hat off so it don't get in the way of the camera. I'll take my index or whatever free finger I've got and place on top of the capacitor like that. And then I'll heat up one side of the capacitor and I'll rock that capacitor out of the board using your finger to rock the capacitor off the board just like that not hard and you see how discolored that capacitor is that should be a bright blue but from overheating it has starting to brown a little bit so we have that capacitor removed. Now we'll take our solder sucker. And if we're lucky, we'll remove the solder from the vias of the power board. That's one. And there's two. Let's do the other two caps like that. They're a little bit harder to get to. Here's one right here. Right there on the board. Add solder. Put your finger on the top of the capacitor. Heat up one side. And rock that capacitor out, rocking it back and forth in the opposite direction of the lead that you're heating up. There we go. There's that capacitor. One more. Now this one I can't get my fingers on. So what I'm going to do... is clip oh, that one don't open up very well let me get a different lead I'm gonna take this lead there we go and clip it onto the capacitor so that I'll be able to pull on the clip lead to remove that one's that's up in that corner I think it's these two guys right here Hopefully I can heat up both pins at the same time. Get my fingers on there. And I'll be able to pull this one out. Heat 
up now. There we go. There's that capacitor. Now let's see if we can get the solder removed from those vias. go get three new capacitors off of bench stock for the power board. I'll be back in a little bit. Here's our three new capacitors that we're going to install in the power board. We have the smallest and hardest to get out in this corner was a 47 microfarad 25 volt electrolytic capacitor here beside the switching MOSFET 220 microfarad at 25 volts and over here the one that discolored on us 470 microfarad at 50 volts we're going to put that one in first now watch out for your polarity nice thing about these boards is that uh, Polarity is marked on the board with a plus sign indicating that the positive side of the capacitor will go in that via. There we go. Capacitors to stand up tall. <laughs> Not be crooked. There we go. Next. This one here is just as hard to install as it is to remove. This is right down there in the corner. Come on now. I'm in the dark over here. Come on. There you go. There's one side, I think. side in. Right, hold on, I need to get some light. Put my little headlamp on so I can see what I'm doing. It's going to get bright. Even with light, it's hard to get there we go. We got it this time. Don't fall out. Don't 
don't fall out. Grab that, pull it up. Take it over to the cleaning station. Clean up the back side of the board. Before I do that, I want to get that magic solder off of that three phase bridge uh, via. So, we have to take some solder wick again, add some flux. Now, you don't want to use your solder sucker on this. That magic solder will gum up your solder sucker. So use a uh, use solder wick to get all the solder removed from these vias where the three-phase bridge used to be. involved in this little drive here, isn't there? It sure does take a while. These little drives are getting harder and harder to find replacements for that's why we still work on them we could find a replacement we just as easily replace it <laughs> but uh, well, you know how that goes the old things don't want to don't want to be found if that makes any sense. But this, uh, these old drives right here are hard to find. That's what keeps us in business. Keeps us plugging away. Okay, one more. I get this board cleaned up we'll go over to the feedback board and recap that that's that one with that bulged out cap there we go and we'll take this board over to the cleaning station and clean all the flux off of it Here's my diagram of the feedback board, uh, the orientation and the value and voltages of the capacitors on that feedback board. So we're going to use that as a guide to install new capacitors on 
of this board. Do a few connectors. There's a connector that routes the voltage from the power supply section up to the control board, so we have to undo that connector. These connectors come on. I don't know why this drive is being so stubborn releasing these connectors. I'm going to bust that connector off the board. Had the same problem with this connector over here. Or with the... And the... Fan voltage connector. Come on now. Don't be stubborn. We ain't got all day. There we go. It come undone that time. And... There's another connector here. There's a ribbon flexible ribbon uh, cable that connects the control board to the power board or to the uh, uh, feedback power supply board and you have to be careful with this one because you can break the end tabs off so just very gently pull those out if you can without breaking that connector there we go. And now, with that tab undone, we can pull that flexible ribbon connector off. There seems to be some kind of glue or something. Let's push that back in on this side of the board that's keeping us from releasing everything. Might have to put a little hot glue on this side because it's bent out a little bit. We don't want this ribbon cable to come undone. Okay, we have four screws again that hold it to the board. Recap this one. You can see that capacitor right there. The top's bulged out. That indicates to us that that capacitor has gone bad. Okay, let's set this over here. And now we'll remove the capacitors. It's a heavily conformally coated board on the bottom. That usually makes it just a hair bit more difficult to get those caps off the board because you have to go through the conformal coating. Let's start over here with these three capacitors.
There's one. 470 at 35. I don't want to come undone. There she goes. Okay. There's the second one. 470 microfarad at 35 volts. microfarad at 35 volts. So far we're matching up with my drawing. Let's get this one next. That's 47 microfarad at 35 volts. Conformable coating on this side kind of glued the capacitor to the board. That's why it's not rocking back and forth. Come on. Yeah, you hear the conformal coating crack. There we go. Okay, we got one side free. that extra solder there so it don't get to a place in the board that we don't want it to go and short circuit something else out. bulged out top that is 150 microfarad at 35 volts. Let's see where we are. Okay. That's that one right there. I'll write that down because the previous one I recapped it was 100 microfarad at 50 or 4.7 microfarad at 63. Let me add this value and voltage onto my sheet right here. 150 microfarad at 35 volts. Okay, we're up to date.
This one is 470 microfarad at 10 volts. Two more to go. Let's get this one. This one is 100 microfarad at 50 volts. Last one. And I'm going to have to cut this one because it has glue that holds it to that inductor. Did I get all the way through? I think I did. go and that one was 470 microfarad at 35 volts now let's see if we can remove the solder from the vias Now we have the solder removed from the vias. Let me go get some new capacitors to put in there off a of bench stock.
last one. Last one. After this, we have to replace the current sense modules on the current sense board. And then, we have to put it all back together. <laughs> and hopefully it don't go bang when we apply the line voltage. Okay, let me go and clean up this board. I think for today we are done. And we'll do the rest of that tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. Uh, and then, if we don't get it done tomorrow, we got Sunday. <laughs> this work never ends. All right, folks. If y'all are still here, this is a long one. But if y'all are still here, have a good weekend. Enjoy the time with your family. Enjoy the time on this side of the dirt. We'll see you tomorrow.